Mr. Worms Tech Channel here and today I'm doing a video about US Mobile so before I get further into the video I'd like to give a big shout out to Dronic Warfare he did a video about this on his uh, channel so check out his video below and subscribe to him if you have not done so already so I'm on bestnbno.com here and I will be talking about US Mobile if you guys don't know what US Mobile is that is basically a prepaid carrier so uh, it looks like the US Mobile updates plans with an all-in pricing which is interesting adds new unlimited plan and shareable data plan so that is uh pretty cool so let's go ahead and check this out here so uh yeah it says here for a couple of months u.s mobile had been teasing on reddit about coming out with new plans and features and those plans are finally here to start, data allotment are now the same no matter what network you use US Mobile with. It's DSM network, T-Mobile, or Warp 5G network, Verizon. Previ previously, Warp 5G unlimited plans included more data than GSM plans did. There's also a new unlimited plan called Unlimited Starter with 20 gigabytes of high-speed premium data for $25 a month. There's also new shareable data plans. Customers with multiple lines can share data across all their different devices, even if the devices are using different networks. So that is uh, pretty cool. Uh, $25 a month for 20 gigabytes of high-speed data. That is a really good deal there, in my personal opinion. It says all US mobile plans now include taxes and fees in their pricing. So that is pretty nice as well. Uh, and international calling has been released as a beta feature to customers with GSM 5G SIMs. The feature is planned for launch on the Warp 5G network in the next few months. US Mobile's updated unlimited plans. Here's how here is how US Mobile new and updated unlimited plans are priced. So uh, these uh, plans now have tax and fees included, so it'd be $25, $40, and $50 respectively, flat rate. So uh, that is very nice. So for $25 a month, it is called the unlimited, unlimited starter. That gives you 20 gigabytes of high-speed premium data. $40 a month, which is called unlimited essential, gives you 50 gigabytes of high-speed premium data. Previously, it was 40 gigs. And 5 gigabytes of high speed data included. Price as low as $30 a line a month for three or more lines. Then you had the $50 plan that is that is called unlimited premium. Then that gives you 100 gigabytes of high speed premium data, free international data, and 50 gigabytes of mobile high speed data. Price as low as $40 a line. $40 a month per line per month for three or more lines plus you will get and plus you will receive plus you will receive a streaming subscription perks for three or more lines users on all plans that get that got one perk for three lines and two perks for four lines will be grandfathered into those perks for the time being okay that's interesting uh, added the high speed data limit is reached with each plan. Data speeds will be at one megabyte per second. That is very generous because um, usually, if carriers started your data, it is at least 512 kilobytes or below. So, one megabyte is very generous for throttle data. Uh, that is very generous. Uh, so one megabyte is slow but it's not as bad like you can do uh, you can still do stuff on that uh, I would not stream 4k videos though on that I wouldn't but you should be able to do everything else like what you should be able to watch YouTube videos and you know, stuff the internet stuff like that so US mobile did it did in the past also offer one megabyte per second throttle speeds okay since so previously the unlimited Premium plan offered just 35 gigabytes of data if you were using it on the T-Mobile network. So the change is so the change to 100 gigabytes is a huge improvement. 
the mid tier unlimited plan includes 25 gigabytes of high speed data on the T-Mobile network so the change to 50 gigabytes is also big for some customers the new plans may come with a slight price increase which isn't good particularly for customers with three or more lines below is a table comparing the pricing of the old plans versus the new plans the old plans did have additional charges for taxes and fees which which vary by state the new plans have taxes and fees included so that is a win there all right so y'all got to see different uh plans there to you know compare the different plans and stuff if you guys have multiple lines and stuff so yeah y'all got to see on the uh thing here that the prices um like the old prices are in parentheses y'all got to see that, that the prices are higher but i mean yeah, that's if you're on the old plan. So, I mean, if you need the US mobile, I mean, check it out, I guess, you know. It says, all, it says although in some instances the price increases seem pretty dr uh, drastic, they probably aren't, and maybe for some, aren't in increase at all. US mobile did charge a bit, uh, did charge quite a bit for taxes and fees on their old plans. However, if you're a new customer with more than three lines, you are likely paying a bit more than you would have before. Alright. Says for the time being, new numbers can get the unlimited starter plan for 50% off the first month, dropping the price to twelve fifty for your first month of service. So if you're a new customer, uh, I guess you gotta, I don't know if you gotta, you probably gotta put your number of the US mobile. And then if you guys get the unlimited, the unlimited starter plan, which is usually $25, y'all guys can get it for your first month for $12.50. Sounds familiar, right? Beast Mobile is doing that promotion there. Uh, that's for new customers, so that's a great way to get new customers in the door. So, uh, yeah, your first month of service would be twelve dollars and fifty cents, and after that, it'd be twenty five dollars. After that, and so uh, you probably got to put your number over the U.S. Mobile and stuff like that. It says U.S. Mobile shared data plans have changed. Uh, I'm surprised that shared data plans are still a thing in twenty twenty three. I thought that we, I thought that we have gotten away from those, but some people may not need. Some people might not need unlimited high speed data some, 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 some people may not need that you know so they might just want to have a little bit of data you know but i'm just surprised that, that we still have shared data plans in 2023 i thought those went away i mean that's it, oh, that that is just surprising to me so it says that previously u.s mobile offered what it called pooled plans Pool plans were priced at nine dollars a line plus two dollars a gigabyte of shareable data and had literally just a few cents in tax and the fees on top. You could add data you could add data endlessly at two dollars a gigabyte and have an endless number of lines on your account. The plans were also only available on the Warp 5G Verizon network. Now they can be used on both the T-Mobile and Verizon network and customers with multiple lines can mix and match networks. Plan pricing has changed a bit with the new shareable data options. US Mobile is still charging $2 a gigabyte for shareable data. However, per line pricing has dropped down to $8 a line. There, there are also some new pre-configured shareable data allotments available that aren't priced at two dollars a gigabyte there are three such plans available shown below the pricing shown is for a single line with the giving data allotment so uh 
It's 6 gigs for $18 a month, 12 gigs for $25 a month, or 30 gigs for $50 a month, plus $16, plus $16 for an additional 10 gigabyte. Alright, those are the shareable data plans. Uh, it says here, although the new shared data plans, it says although the new shared data plan pricing has been improved, not all is better. U.S. Mobile did previously offer some pre-configured plan options that didn't include shareable data. These plans, those plans have been eliminated in some cases. Okay, those plans have been eliminated. In some cases, they offer a better value for single lines than those new pre-configured shareable data plans that have taken their place. For instance, with the old plans, you could get a plan with 15 gigabytes of data for $20 or $25 for 25 gigabytes before taxes and fees. Taxes and fees added anywhere between $2 to $5 and says here taxes and fees added anywhere between two dollars to five dollars to the total cost of the plan however the new unlimited started plan at twenty five dollars a month for single lines may be better value anyway with data speeds reduced to one megabyte per second after twenty gigabyte gets consumed under the old plan under the old pre configuration plan data was shut off after the high speed data allotment was reached so that's not good so y'all might as well just get the $25 unlimited starter plan because uh, that includes 20 gigabytes of high speed data then you throttle the one right after that so that's not bad that's very generous of uh, throttle speeds there so, so what's plan was better value to you it's probably more of an in it says here so what plan so which plan was a better value to you is probably more of an more of an individual personal preference. Uh, if you was on the old plans and you, you had like the shareable data or whatever, you might as well get the new twenty-five dollar plan. Cause like I said, that like I said, data is that data is unlimited. Uh, it throttles at the twenty gigs to one megabyte per second, which is very generous. Uh, it says here the new shared data plans also allow hotspot usage. You can also use the plans with your tablets, modems, or any other devices that you may have. So that's pretty cool. It says both the new unlimited plans and the shareable data plans include C band and 5G millimeter wave access and premium data on the Verizon network. It is unclear. If premium data is available with the T-Mobile network, uh, they should tell us if it is or not. It says, it says here, interested in the new U.S. mobile plans? You can get them here or take the network for a free test drive. All right, and that is it, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, U.S. mobile has updated their plans. Uh, they've added uh, a new plan that also add uh, shareable data plans and stuff like that. So um, I'm surprised that shareable data plans are still a thing in 2023. Surprisingly, I thought that we got away from that, but apparently not. Like I said, some people don't not need like some people might not need um on them. some people may not need all that data. You know, some people some people might just want. A small amount of data, who knows, you know, depending on when you use and stuff like that. Uh, so, if you guys are thinking about getting the shareable data plans on US mobile or whatever, uh, you can get this, you can get this, and you can get this if you guys want. But if you guys are just looking to save some money on US mobile, uh, their starter plan, which is $25 a month, gives you 20 gigabytes of high speed data. Then it throttles down to one megabyte per second after the 20 gigs, which is very generous. Um, I would go to that plan if you guys are looking to save some money. But that's just my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is really cool. And uh, we'll see if other uh, prepaid carriers react to this. Who knows? So, uh, 
yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up guys it really it really helps me out a lot peace rate comment subscribe thank you very much for watching my video and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out